What up fam, it's your boy Big Guns for Hire. I got some tips that's gonna help you guys uh, get a job um, and be able to be employed and make money so that you can pay your bills and also buy some DLC, buy some Call of Duty, buy some scuff contra contra control, uh, controllers, get all this shit that you really, really want. Now, I'm being employed since I was 16, I'm 40 now. So, and you know, they don't call me El Boss for nothing. So I do have some pointers that is gonna help you get the job that you want. And we're gonna start by the resume. The, the resume that you make cannot be longer than one page, okay? People don't have time. When they look at your resume, and they, they, they look at the, res, the, the resume that you send, they see two pages, they're not gonna go through it. They're gonna push it to the side because people are getting thousands and thousands and thousands of resumes. They don't have time to look at two pages, three pages worth of resumes. You feel me? So usually your, your typical boss or, or manager or whatever will only look at your resume for about five seconds. So because of that, you, you got to make sure that when you're making your resume, you look at the job that you're going to apply for and you go uh, go and look at the description and what they're seeking for, okay, on that job. What they, what, they, what, they, what, they, what they want people, the experiences that they want. And you take that and you put it at the top of your resume, okay? You put the, 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 what they want and what they're looking for. If you have the skill, that's what you want to put at top of your resume. So that way when they open their resume, they'll see that's the, that's the first thing they're going to see and they're going to keep them, that's going to keep them interested in your resume. Another pointer is, listen, if you work many jobs like I had, you don't want to have a resume with every single job that you had, all the years and all that, because all that show is inconsistency and it shows that you like to jump from job to job, you're not reliable. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to eliminate the dates and you want to just have a, a resume that have the specific experience to that specific job that you are applying for. Another point there is you want to make a, a, a document with all of your contact and all of your, um, what do I call it, references. You want to make a, a, a sheet that have all your res uh, references with the addresses, the phone number, and the contact information, the name of the person, the point of contact. You want to have at least a page, a page of that separate from your resume. You want to have at least between five and seven, around five, five is good. Five references that are very, that are up to date and they are not more than, you know, four or five years old. You know what I'm saying? You know, no more than three or four years old. And you want to make a paper with that because that you're going to hand that over to them. They're going to appreciate that a lot. So that's some pointers, man. You know, you're looking for a job. You know, you gotta you gotta make your resume that is that is job specific to that particular job that you are that you are applying for. Anyway, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a like. It really helped my channel grow, man. And um, I see you next time. Let me know if you want to continue seeing these type of videos, man. Peace and adios.